Um, always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make a great night, folks. To begin a great relationship, know what you want. Know what the needs of your body are, what the needs of your mind are, and what fits well with you. There are millions of men and women. Some of them will make a great match for you and others won't. The two of you only to be like a key in a lock, a match that works. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow flat. NASDAQ is up 29. S&P is up four and a half. Gold contract up four dollars, 10 cents trade at 17.65 an ounce. We got silver up four cents at $22.65 an ounce. Light sweet crew down a buck and a half. $77.42 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, flat, 131.24. 30-year up 11 ticks at 159.16 and King Dollar. King Dollar's up 278 ticks, trading out at 94.253. Euro trading at 115, the yen at 111 and a half, and the British pound at 135 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in y'all world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you got? You have a choppy market out here in a big way, folks. And what you can expect, you can expect all the surprises to be downtown. Now, it's going to be really interesting. I'm going to bring up the futures first in this because I suspect what we're going to have here, you've had, we haven't had this type of volatility in years. And what I expect we're going to see out here is that we had the S&P get down to a low today of 42.73. We're at highs right now, 43.88. But that being said, you're still only up in the SPY or the futures, 3.75. My take is that we're not going to hold this coming into the close. You got the bump up when McConnell said that, uh, well, I'm not, that should, the, the rumor is out there here is that uh, he'll do some type of extension to November 30th. Um, you know, on the debt seal and the bottom line, folks, I don't think this is to hold the debt seal. And this is a correction in the marketplace. It's been happening. I expect you're going to see it finish out. We're going to keep going south. And it's going to be very hard for equities to hold price. If we take a look at the three Qs right now, the three Qs, they had a low out here today of 350, 3.15. You're at highs right now at 358.51. We take a look at the NQs. We pull these NQs up. The NQs, the high today is 749. We're at 707. You're up 52 bucks right now after being down about 253. I expect the same thing uh, here, meaning that we, we just about got to the high of uh, Tuesday, right? With, no, of Monday. And, you know, the last sell right before I get on, a little volume on the way down. So I suspect you're going to have a little more selling pressure as we come into the close out here today. Gold, gold contract uh, right out here, even when the dollar was higher this morning, as this is higher, uh, bottom line, rejected lower price, had lighter volume. Uh, we hit 1745, rejected 1745, you're at 1765, it wants higher price, as well as notes and bonds. The note and bond market, uh, bottom line out here this morning, it was a nice rejection of uh, lower price. We rejected it at 131.13. You have lighter volume on the move. Uh, bottom line is that we hit uh, 1.5 million contracts. You're going into 2 million contracts. That's saying that lower rates are coming at us once again. And that matches up with a lower market, folks. That's what this comes down to. I, I to totally understand that everyone thinks rates are going to go up. Guess right? We're at a 1.52 right now on the 10-year. And what you can expect out here is that uh, the bottom line, you'll see that go down. you see the prices go up. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in y'all world? Well, in the world of... <laughs> this is a beauty, man. <laughs> There's no doubt. Uh, in the world of St. Petersburg, folks, okay, uh, you have... We have finally landed uh, a, basically a, a good fun company. Uh, Kathy Wood's ARC um, is bottom line is not only coming to St. Pete, they're, they're literally right down the streets from us folks. Okay. Uh, two blocks away. <laughs> it's, 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 it's not only really great in that aspect, uh, that they're moving here and they're moving here right now with the, it's the 31st of November 1st, they're moving in, which is pretty wild. Uh, and that's what St. Pete needed. Um, because what we have is this, we have a huge amount of retail, meaning condos, right? But jobs are totally where it's at. If you get jobs that start coming in, particularly if you get financial jobs that start coming in, you know, all these companies have been going to the East Coast versus the West Coast. Uh, it makes a difference. And I think, you know, 
what does happen is that the fund companies, it's not that they have a huge amount of uh, employees. She only has 36 employees. It's a start. That's, that's the real bottom line. It's a start. Simultaneously what happened, now check this out. This is pretty wild. I'm thinking, so she's two blocks away from us and also two blocks away from us. What's going on? The, the guy that owns Apple Grocer out in New York, he's a billionaire. Uh, he's been looking to do the largest building in the West Coast, 54 floors, I believe it is. And simultaneously, she announced that she's coming here right now. And he announced, he opened a sales um, office. So that building's going up. So I suspect what's going on is that she probably has a lease at 200 Central. It's a beautiful building. It's a marble building. It's, it's just a beautiful building. I suspect she has a lease there for a few years. And I suspect she already made a deal with him having a lease, because this building is going to be state-of-the-art, big time. Bottom line, if you happen to be in the real estate business, this is about as good as it gets. My head has been spinning all morning. I had someone, one of the Tigers actually uh, text me, and uh, it's a beautiful thing. Market-wise out here, it's a weak market. Highly volatile, weak market, having a hard time holding price. If we look at the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX, let me get this, there we go inside the NDX 100, which we have the strength out here is uh, Marvel uh, Technology, that's up 6.8%. NetEase is up 6%. Uh, DocuSign is up 3.2%, and CSX is up 27 Taken away from it. Electronic Arts is down 7.5%. Modern is off 7%. Uh, CW, CDW, that's a computer. Yeah, let me pull it. That's down 4.65. Is that the computer? Yeah, software, software solutions. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.